Hi hey everyone, it's Howard Berg. We'll be starting live in just a couple of minutes. Just want to let you know I'm here. We've got uh, 7, 7.55, so just a couple more minutes and uh, we'll be starting. I always like to get here a little bit early before it starts to uh, warm people up. <laughs> I think we'll have a really nice time tonight. You know there's a chat box on the right. You have a opportunity to ask me questions if you would like in the chat box. Don't be shy, I'm here to help you. And uh, that's why we have a chat box. You also can raise your hand if you wanna speak. I think you need a Gmail account to be able to speak though. I'm not positive. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the case though, but I know anyone could do chat and I'm just looking, we got about four more minutes. So I'm just basically, I wouldn't call it killing time, but I wanted to be here before the beginning. So people would know that I'm here and have some fun. I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you a quick overview right away at the beginning. I have a PowerPoint and I'm going to go into my uh, program and I'm going to create a book in like probably less than three minutes and then when I'm done and I'll show you it's under and I'm going to show you the condition where you can do that which is really quite common and then I'll show you how to handle it when that condition isn't met okay so basically if you have a blog or something you've posted online uh, we'll be able to make use of that very quickly but let's assume you don't I'll, I will show you alternative strategies so yes you'll be able to make a book in three minutes and that's under the perfect conditions and then when they're in perfect conditions i'll show you how to do it anyway and uh it doesn't take very long i'll also go step by step and show you how to make the book even better so it's not just a book it's a fantastic book one that people will love and want so that's what we're planning on doing this evening with everyone that's here and uh, I was blown away when I saw how easy this was and I've already hi hi Michael nice to see you oh, is it Michelle oh it's I'm sorry it's not Michael is that Michelle or Michael I'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, but it's good to see you <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it uh, I'm not I'm not positive but I appreciate your being here and saying and, and greeting me um you know and I, i've already made several books and uh i'll show you some strategies that i'm using with the books to help build my business hi from brazil oh that's cool nice to see we have an international audience that's one thing i've really enjoyed about my work i i, I meet people from all over the world I mean, I've had waters from Australia, Madagascar, even the Seychelles Islands, which I had never heard of before the, uh, before the news broke about it. I didn't know there was a Seychelles Islands, but I had an order there. And uh, I think the only continent I haven't had an order from. Hi, oh, there's Vinny. I'm so glad to see you. Vinny and I go back, I'm going to say 40 years. Is that maybe more? Maybe more. Maybe 45 years. Pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, I know Vinny almost, uh, since before, almost as long as I kn knew my first wife. <laughs> it's a long time ago. So I'm very happy to see him. He's doing fantastic. And 1976, I was right. It's a, it's a long time ago, Vinny. <laughs> it's a lifetime, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lifetime. It's quite, quite a long time. And uh, I'm so happy to see you tonight. I'm glad you came. We got about one more minute before I uh, begin, and uh, when I'm in my PowerPoint, just so you know, I can't see the questions when I'm in the PowerPoints. I can't see the chat box when I'm in PowerPoint. When I come out of PowerPoint, I can see. Oh, there's someone there from Thailand. Oh my goodness! It's oh, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I was like, it's the middle of the night. No, actually, Thailand. It's eight in the morning. I'm, I'm Brian. I'm going to be going back to Thailand. Uh, I think either in August or October. I'm not positive. It's either August or October. We're working on the dates. Uh, 
So that's something to look forward to, I guess. I've been asked to speak in Washington around September 21st at the Lincoln Memorial. There's going to be a maybe a half million, two million people. I don't. They said two million. I'm I'm thinking half a million or a million, and I'm one of the key speakers. So I'm very excited about doing that and uh, looking forward to it. And now that it's eight o'clock, I can officially welcome everyone and say thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, if you could hear me, just say yes, I could hear you, so I know everything's working before I... Uh... Yes, Vinny, you were my first private student. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. That's absolutely true. And uh, I was just very pleased that I was able to help you and, and make an impact on your life. That makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's actually a one-minute lag between me speaking and you hearing it, so when I ask to see something in the box. It comes a minute later. <clears throat> okay. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to go right into my PowerPoint. Let me go up to the top. Okay. I said five minutes. It's three minutes. I actually, I thought about it. And I said five minutes is too long. We can create a book in three minutes. So I'm, re I'm re re retitling it. Okay. So let me um, go into the slideshow. T the purpose of this class tonight is how to create a book, well, it says five minutes. I thought I re I actually edited this and I don't think the edit went in. It's actually three minutes. It's even less than five minutes. I'm gonna show you how to make your book look real professional and polished. I'll show you strategies for making your book interactive, which is even cooler. You could put video in your book and audio in your book and all, all kinds of cool things. And then of course you could use your book to explode your business and build your list. So the first, Strategy I'm going to cover is three ways to create a book. And again, it says five minutes. I'm going to say three minutes. And then I'm going to talk about the co uh, the cover. Because actually, people do judge a book by its cover. And <clears throat> if you don't have a professional-looking cover, it will affect uh, your ability to, to get a good response from your book. I'll show you how to format copy in your book, how to do media, like pictures, things like that, images, pictures, things like that. How to get the perfect look for your book, the style of your book. How to create an, an, a call to action inside your book. And even a 3D cover image, which is really nice when you're trying to promote your book and your campaigns and you have a book cover that pops off the page and looks three-dimensional instead of one-dimensional. So we're going to, here we go. There's the three ways to create a book in just five minutes. Well, First of all, the program I'm using, I'm just going to let you know, it's called Designer. It's D-E-S-I-G-N-R-R. -R. That's the program I'm using. It's an app. Um, if you write this down, if you decide you want it, it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $27, which is not a lot for uh, a program. It's from Howard.com forward slash designer. And I'll show you exactly how it works, but that's a quick way to get it if you want one. So the first thing is getting copy. I'm going to assume that you have a blog. Now, you may not have a blog, so I'm going to show you other ways to get the copy if you don't have a blog. But let's assume for the moment you have a blog. So what I'm going to do, and I just realized I didn't share my screen, so nobody's seeing it. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That, that's my first uh, blunder tonight. Let me uh, turn screen share on. Hold on. Okay, and I will share my entire screen. Okay, and there we go. And you get that infinite screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my website, which is Mr. Reader. And right now, let me make sure you can see me, what, what I'm doing. Let me go back into uh, the webinar jam for a minute. Can you just let me know that you can see what I'm doing right now? I mean, you, what you'll see is like a million images of me. I just want to make sure everything's working properly. Just give me a quick heads up so I know that everything's working okay. I forgot to turn. Yeah, perfect. Oh, thanks, Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can see. Me. So here's my my blog. I, have, I I just made a simple article right here. How to get the most out of reading. Okay. So I'm just gonna go into my blog. I have a, I've written an article here. Okay, you can see I I've put in my pictures and. I've set it up. It's, all, it's just on my website. And here's the 
URL for the blog. Okay, I'm going to go into designer. I'm going to create a new project. In this case, I'm just going to use a URL. Let me hide this. And the URL I'm putting in is the URL to my blog. So I'm just clicking import. Takes a <clears throat> short time. Now, these are just standard head, um, standard covers. I'm just going to pick one for now. I'll pick New York where I'm from as a head, as a cover. We're going to fix this later and make it much nicer. Oh, and I have to give the project a name. So I'm going to call this Reading Faster. Okay? So that's the name. I'm, I'm going to actually make it more with, with caps, Reading Faster. Hold on. Here we go. Reading Faster. Press Next. And here's my book. Basically, what I've got now is a full book with the pictures and the images all set up. Looks pretty nice. And truthfully, if I wanted, I could stop right now and I'd be fine. That would be uh, definitely a book that I could give away and to get people interested in my reading program. You could see how that would work. So that's fine. But as you could see, um, there was a problem. You have to have a blog. And let's be honest, not, not everyone does have a blog. By the way, it doesn't have to be a blog. It could be a PDF file that you created, a Word file. Or you could just write from scratch uh, a brand new uh, piece of copy and, and, and make it into a book. But I'm going to show you another strategy that's super fast. Also, just a couple of minutes time. So what if you had no copy? I happen to have copy, but maybe you don't. So you can get lots of free copy in a place called Article City. It's online. It's called ArticleCity.com. I'm going to go into it. I actually queued it up. This is Article City. Um, as you can see, there's all kinds of categories of, of articles here. These are articles other people wrote. And they give you permission to use their material. Usually at the end of the article, they may give you their website or their name. That's the price you pay for using someone else's material. But there's thousands, tens of thousands, I think 40, 50,000 articles here on all kinds of topics that you can see. And so I just picked one on 10 tips for dealing with disrespectful students, which is something I might actually write about. So I'm clicking on uh, the, the head, the, the URL from Article City. I'm going to go back into Designer. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go back into Designer. Okay. And I'm going to go to Create a New Project. I'm going to go to URL and import the article from Article City. From Article City. Remember, I haven't written anything. At this point, I'm taking someone else's copy that's in my niche. Whatever your niche happens to be, you'll find an article. In fact, while we're waiting for it to import, we'll just see some of the niches. Auto and trucks, business and finance, celebrities, uh, education, health, hobbies, home improvement, legal, marketing, music, religion, writing, women. There's a self-improvement and motivation. So there's definitely no shortage of topics. Next thing, I'm just going to pick a tie, uh, a head, a, a, a cover. I'll just pick a, I'll take the, this one's pretty, I'll just pick Hawaii for the moment. And project name can't be empty, so I'm just going to call this one Article City, so we know what it is. And I'll go next. And here's my book. Now, that's an entire book with pictures. All the headings are in there. Everything is laid out. It looks fantastic. And it took me three minutes, just like I said. So, yes, you can write a book in just three minutes. And no, you don't have to have the copy. You could do this. Now, I'm going to show you some other tricks for when you don't have copy. Now, I'm going to presume a lot of you have your own copy, or you could write an article if you had to. But I'm also showing you what you could do to be even quicker if you don't have the time to write you could go to Article City. Another thing you could use is called the best spinner. The best spinner. And I'll demonstrate the best spinner. The best spinner 
This is the program. The best spinner is a dynamic thesaurus. When you put words in here, when you put your material in here, it looks at what other people used instead of the words that are there, and it can rewrite it with 97% new words. So here's an article that's already been written, okay? Now the secret here, this is very important. You'll notice it's not formatted, it's in TXT format, which is notepad, notepad. This is unformatted text, that's very important. It only works with unformatted text. So we put it in here. Let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, I gotta get, let's see, identify. Let's see, open, new. Okay, I'm gonna put in the article. There's the article. I'm going to say, um, identify synonyms. Gonna find the synonyms. And then watch this. When I click on spun article, so you can see right now, here's a title. Now you can see there's a whole article here, an entire article. But I'm just going to have you look at the top, at the title, and watch what happens. Now, I have a title, Affiliate Marketing Tips to Help You Succeed. I'm going to spin it again, and now it says Affiliate Marketing Tips for Real Profit. I'll spin it again. Affiliate Marketing Advice to Turn You Into a Superstar. What you're not seeing is that all the copy... Everything here is changing. When I click the new spin, the entire article gets rewritten every week, everything. Everything is rewritten so that it's 97% brand new. Now, a lot of people say, great, now I'll use the spun article. I never use a spun article, ever. What I do is I copy and paste the spun article into a Word document, open up Word, Make a single space blank document. There's my thing. And then I rewrite it. I look at what's here and I rewrite the rewrite. I take out some of the ideas. I put in some of my own. I take out some of the examples. I put in some of my own. And when I'm done, I have a brand new article. So I've shown you now several ways that you can easily get copy to make an instant book. So I'm going to come back into... Uh, Webinar Jam for a moment. I'm going to turn off the uh, screen share. Let's see. There. So allow you to ask me questions, and then I'll continue. Uh, is there anything you need? Do you need a deeper explanation on what I've done so far? Any anyone? Anyone have a question on 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 ways of getting the copy? Because that's that's really. The, the hardest part is getting copy, and it's really not hard. If you have copy written already, you can use it. If you don't have copy written already, you can use someone else's, and you could spin copy that uh, someone else used and make it make it brand new, so brand new that it, it's yours and no one else's. So I'm not seeing any questions. Okay, okay. Is this is this is this exciting? Say yes. What is the spelling of designer? It's D E S. I G N R R, and I actually set up a link. If you want to get designer, I made a special link from howard.com forward slash designer, and that will get you right there. That's that's a quick way to buy design. If you decide you want it, you know I'm I'm really trying to show you uh, how to write a book in a short time. I find this program very useful for my business. And that's why I'm showing it to you. So I showed you the best spinner. And now I want to cover the cover. You know, as I said, people do judge books by their covers. So let's go back into designer. I'm going to, oh, I didn't turn screen share on. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to put the entire screen on, share it. Okay. I got to remember to do that. It's so easy to forget. Make sure it's, it's going. Okay, there. I know it's going when I get that infinity look. Perfect, perfect. I'm glad you're excited. Uh, it's an outstanding program, and I use it a lot. Now, how to create a killer cover. I'm going to go back into my internet. I'm going to go into designer. Um, so here we are. We're on the cover. Let's see. Hide this. 
And there's a lot of things we could do here. One of the things we could do is we could change the, we could remove the background if we want to, or we could add another image. There. So say I want to make like a, uh, a color background. See, that's pretty easy to do. I just clicked on a color. Uh, this is textures. So there are a number of different textures that I could choose from instead of uh, what's there. Let me undo it again. Okay, there. I can also go into image. So we can make different textures. I can also change the colors. There's a color palette here. And we can use different colors if we choose to. Uh, another thing we could do. Try to get out. Choose. I'll just leave it where it is. Okay. So we have the cover page content. And I could click on cover page as well. And there's other things you could do. You could put in your own pictures and your own images and your own backgrounds and your own media if you want to. You could change it. So it doesn't have to be what's here. You can make it anything you want. So they give you pre-made templates. As you can see when you start, there's quite a few templates that you can choose from. And if one of them fits your, I mean, I wouldn't use a jellyfish. <laughs> For 10 tips for dealing with disrespectful students, that would not be my first choice for a, uh, for, for a cover. But that, that's, you know, something that I just picked because it was colorful and looked very nice. So that's a good example. You could change the cover. You can also edit what's in here. You can change what's in here. You can make it different colors. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Go back, 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 back. Go forward. Cannot undo. So I'll get out of here. I didn't save it. Let's see. Cancel. We'll go back out. We'll lose the material, which I don't care because there's nothing in there I really want. And I will go back in. I'll go into this one. We'll go into the New York one. And so I can do a lot of different things. I can change my... I could change the type of font I'm using. There's a whole bunch of fonts. Is a Roboto, just as an example. You can change the uh, color of your font to anything you want. You can make it black, you can make it white, you can make it red, whatever color you want. So you can change your font. You can also move it around. This box is movable, so you can shift it. Depending on what the cover looks like. You can make, you know, if this is the this is the cover it came from, you probably leave it where it was. But if you have you don't want to block an important picture or an image, then you can easily move it around and put it someplace that looks better for your cover. So that's a pretty easy way to get started. You could you could put shadows in, and you can make colors for your shadows. I'm gonna make a white shadow. And you could choose that, and you can make the, this. You can make shadows, so there's sort of a glow around the letters, and you could use padding, which kind of gives more room to the box, so that it, it pushes things away from it, so it stands out better. And that's just an example of some of the things you could do to make a killer cover. Now the third thing is formatting the copy, the actual copy inside of your book. So I'm just going to go down here and what you could do is pretty similar. You have, you can change the font size. You can change the type of font. You can change the color of the font. You can bold, you can italic, you can underline, you could do strike out. You can make a link. That's pretty good. If you want to have like somebody uh, click here to, for a free download. And so you could create a download link inside your text using this. So if I did something like this, click here to download, and then I highlight it. Yeah. 
yeah, I'll let that, and I click on that, and I can put my link in here, and put a title to my link, and now you have a link inside of your copy that will get people interested in whatever it is. So I might say I, I have a free speed reading handout that I'd like you to get now that you're starting my first lesson, and you can click here to get it. And then it takes them to a page, and it asks for them to give me their name or their email or something like that, and then they get the information that they're looking for. So formatting the copy, there's a lot of different ways you can make the copy look look very nice and very polished and very professional, and that in itself is uh, very important. You could also move copy around, like you can see that this isn't in the right spot, so I can push it up. And now I filled in that empty space. I just grabbed it and pulled it up, and I filled in the empty space, and everything else moved with it. Okay, so you could actually move copy around. If you've got a lot of empty space, you can format it. And your pictures, you can change the location of your pictures. You can make your image on the left. You can make your image on the right. You can make your image in the middle. You could change the spot the image is in. You know, so it's kind of cool. You can do a lot of that. Um, the media, images and properties and textures. Okay, let's go back inside the program and look at something. I'm going to get rid of this picture and we're going to go in here and here are some other pictures that I could use. Now, these are my images that I uploaded. So there's lots of images here that I like that I would want to use. So I'll, I'll just use this one for now. Use this image. There. And then now, instead of the baby, I have the student image, okay, which is might be more appropriate for something I'm writing. I can also search. So let's say I want an image that's reading. And I click on search. And it's bringing up all these different images that I can use that are royalty free. You got to be very careful when you're making your material that you don't use somebody else's pictures or images because you could have a very serious legal problem. In fact, I actually had a problem once. I'll tell you the, the, the details. Oh, do you have the same applications like left justified? Oh, there's left, right, and centered. I'm not sure about justified, but I know there's left, right, and centered. Many years ago, remember they used to sell a lot of website development things, and they had like cookie cutter websites. You picked the one you liked the way it looked, and then you, you built your, your, your page around that template. So I bought that, and I, I, there was a little piece of sky on the page. And I liked the way that sky looked. I liked the color of that little piece of sky. I'm like, well, it's my website. So I used the program to capture that little piece of sky. Now, it's a whole sky, and I took a piece about that big from the whole sky. I get an email from the company that makes the pictures that I've uh, broken copyright law, that I don't own the right to the sky. I'm like, well, I, I paid for the program. And it said I could do whatever I wanted with the program, and I wanted to take a piece of the sky off of my website and use it someplace else. They said, well, you can't. Your license says you can only use the pictures on that website, on that website. You can't take anything there and move it anywhere else. I, I wouldn't have done it if I had known that. Oh, the link to designer from Howard.com. I'll put it in here. It's just the word from Howard.com forward slash designer. Make sure I spelt it right. No, it's, yeah, it's two R's. There. There you go. And um, they charged me $800 for a piece of picture. This is the size of the picture I took. That was the size of the picture that it came from. This is what I took. A, a piece this big from... The, the whole cover of the top of the page, and it was $800. And the only other option I had was to go to court. And I would have lost. It would have cost me more money 
to, to fight them in court than to pay them the $800. So I learned a very hard lesson. I, I don't want you to learn that lesson. Learn it from me. Be very, very, very careful about what you do online with images. So I'm going to go back into design. Any one of these images could be used. Here's books, and I got a little teddy bear, and you could just see there's a tremendous amount of, of images that I could use. I could change my topic to, uh, let's say, studying. And the important thing here is these images are going to work with designer and you don't have to be concerned about any copyright infringement. So that's pretty cool. Here's cover images. Remember I said you could change the covers? Well, these are cover images that they give you. I, there's actually more than one type of designer. I bought the one that was a little bit more, so it had more images. And um, <clears throat> I do a lot of these books. And I started off with the $27 one, and I got such good results, and I was so happy with how it was working that I decided, I, since I'm using it, and I know I'm using it, and I'm going to continue to use it, I might as well get a more powerful version. So I got one with more pictures. So these are all different cover images. And any one of these could be put on that cover. That Remember you had that default cover, the one that came with New York or Australia or whatever. There were all those. Def these are just some of the additional covers. You could see, you could definitely find something here that you can work with. And this is not where you're limited either. And you can see there's a lot of textures, which are very nice because that's kind of neutral. And what you can do with a textured cover is you can then import a picture and paste it on the cover as well. So you have a cover and you have an image on the cover and it gives you a lot of freedom to make the exact look to your book that you want. So what you see here is a, is a default template that it comes with, with New York, which is perfectly fine. It looks fine. It works fine. Uh, certainly no one would, would mind this, but you saw there are many, many, many other images you could use as well, which would uh, make this thing work really well. Okay, so you have a lot of different images that you can pick. You could change the properties, left, right. You can change the textures. You could fade it. You can bring it forward. You can push it back so that the image looks exactly how you want. Let's say um, you're writing text on your on your cover and the co the the colors behind it are kind of fading into your to your title you can you could you could shrink the the intensity of the image down so that your your words or your fonts that you're putting on the cover are are crisper and clearer and cleaner then the picture behind it, so you're able to work with those images. Okay, now one of the things you could do is you could change your fonts, the colors, the shading, the backgrounds. All of these things are automated inside of Designer, which I think for a $27 program is really kind of cool. Um, now, an online call to action. Give me a second. Let me get back in here. So one of the things you'll see, we'll get off this thing. If I go inside of here, there's a lot of different elements. So I can get a new article. Why would I get a new article? Okay, it's a chapter. You can take one article and that's chapter one. And then what you can do is go to the bottom and you could add a new article on the bottom. So that becomes chapter two. And you can add a third article on the bottom, and that becomes chapter three. And you can have cover pages for each new article. Here I'm just making a new page. I can do that too. If I click and drag this over, let's see if I can get it in here. Got to hide this. And let's see, elements, new page. not doing what I want, but that's normal. But anyway, that's how you would do it. I mean, it's, it's not cooperating right now, which doesn't shock me. 
Um, sometimes you work with computers, they, they don't do what you want. It usually works fine. I could add a page, I could put another cover page in, I could create an automated table of contents. I can put a call to action right here. And so the call to action is something that stands out from the page so people can see what I want them to do. So that would be like, if you would like to get the better program, or what I'll do is I'll give like a free lesson on reading, I'll show it to you. And if you'd like to get the full reading program, then I could do the call to action or the inline call to action. The inline call to action is inside the text and the call to action is just at the end of the text. Or you could just write it in and, and even put it in a link. <clears throat> That's fine. Then there is different kinds of media. I can put an image in and I could click on that and I can find another image. So I could pick one of their images and that's perfectly fine. And it'll set up their image. I can shrink it. And I could expand it. I'm gonna put it on the left. I can also do a few other things with this. I could edit it. So I can now enhance it. I can change some of the look to my image. So here you're seeing like a different look. Let me just give it a second to uh, refresh. I'll go back into the edit. Okay, so I can use special effects. It has effects. I can dim things out. Let's see, let's see over here. Whatever reason it's giving me a hard time tonight. Let me go into my article that I wrote so you can see a little better. This is one I made that I actually use. Um, yeah, that's okay. One of the things when you work live is you, you haven't got complete control over everything that's happening, so you just deal with it. Uh, this is an article I wrote, earn the, earn the grades you need to play on your sports team. Here's what I'm looking for. I know that a lot of students that are on sports teams are not keeping their averages up. So they're getting pulled off the team. In high school, it means the team might lose a key player. In college, they could lose a scholarship. So earn the grades you need to play on your team. And you can see I use the picture of a sports team. I also put in my name. You always want to put in all rights reserved by and then whatever you're reserving your rights to. Put it over here and a copy, copyright symbol and a date. And then why, who is Howard Berg and why should I listen to them? And the first thing I want to do is why should you listen to what I'm telling you? So I put in an image of me on a TV show, create credibility, respectability. And then I tell them about the problem they're having and how it's hurting them. And then good news, this is going to help you fix the problem. I understand your challenges because I also was on a team. I swam competitively when I was younger. So I talk about that. I talk about what I'm going to teach them. I talk about how I worked with Alan Houston from the New York Knicks. I actually trained him on how to speed read in there in, in Madison Square Garden with his wife. And now I've created some rapport. Now, why do you read slowly? That's the first thing. And it's talking about what's causing them to read slower how to read faster. And you can see what I've done. I have different kind of fonts here, different kind of headings. Uh, how can you maximize comprehension? Put that in. And I talk about how comprehension works. What do you need to learn? I put that in. And then can you, how can you remember and recall what you read? I put that in. And then at the very bottom, Oh, here's testimonials. How do I know it works? Here are people that used it. And I say, this, this young man passed the bar at, at, at 19. This one graduated at 16 with a 4.0. This one became a professor at 22. He was, a, he was a C student. So how about a free appointment? Why a free appointment? Because one of the things you need to do is create a relationship. And... I know that if I spend 30 minutes with someone and I teach them to learn faster, many of them will say, you know, he knows what he's doing and I'd like to get more and they'll get my, my, uh, my program. Or I give them an opportunity 
to uh, try my reading program risk-free. And that's it. So it's a free book. I give it away. I don't charge. I want everyone to know I don't charge. And then I encourage people to, to share it. Who do I give these books to? Coaches. Because they're the ones that have kids that are getting bumped off the team. It's hurting them. I give it to parents. Give it to PTAs. Okay, let me hang that up. Okay, so that's that's what I'm doing, and I'm making the book into a profit center for me, so I'm able to um, use the book. It's better than a business card. So we have a call to action. Now here's the part I really like. See this cover? Let me put it into. Um, Current slide. This is a 3D cover. Doesn't that look nice? And the way you get a 3D cover made inside of Designer is like really super easy. I'm going to go inside Designer. I'm going to go outside of the uh, book. And there's several things you could do here outside the book. Okay. One thing I can do is if I click here, it'll generate a 3D cover. This is a hardback cover, paperback cover, I'm trying to get it, paperback cover, flat cover, I usually like a 3D cover myself, and what I'll usually do is I'll go to paperback and make it large, and then it'll make the picture, and I'll download the picture, and then I can paste the picture on my web page on my sales page, on my sign-up page, so people can see the book that they're going to get. And it, it's, it looks very attractive. It takes no effort to do it. I'll show you one other thing you could do outside. This here creates a flip PDF. I'll let it open up, and I'll tell you what that is. It's taking a moment. Okay, I can make the pages flip like a regular book. They actually make a noise as they flip. I don't know if you can hear it, but they make a noise. Now, on this flip version of my book, I could put videos. I could put audios, but I can't print this. This is not a PDF. If you wanted to get people to this book, you'd go here. You'd give them this URL, which links to the book. And then you could do some cool things. You could have a book with a video, with an audio, calls to action. But the only downside is they have to go to the URL to, to get to the book. They, they can't download this book. This book is not downloadable. Okay. But still pretty cool. And uh, I think that's the... the that was one of the um, features of the of the higher level designer. I don't think it's in the twenty seven dollar one, but um, I use it. So for me, it made sense. And it, it's up to you. Does it make sense for you? Maybe not. You know, it depends on what you're planning on doing with this. You can also see what your PDF looks like before you print out your book, so you could see what the book's going to look like to someone else. So you can see this is a really nice looking book. Let me show you something else that's very important. Give me a second. Let me go back into designer. Okay, I'm going to go back inside the book. I want to show you one more feature that I think is super important. Um, Themes. Okay, you see these different themes? I can change the entire look of my book. You see what just happened? Now, I have to change the color of my fonts when I do that. But if you're looking, one click, and it changes the entire look of the book, the whole color scheme of the book. So I can make it look more enticing to someone. And... In some schemes, I'm going to have to change the look of my fonts to a different color so they read better, but I could easily change my, my schemes. 
also in the elements, some of the things you can add, you could pull a label in, you could put in a link, you could add paragraphs. For some reason, it's not letting me do what I want tonight. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so you see I just added a paragraph. That was easy to do. That's nice. It's always nice when it works, right? I can make more space between my sections with a divider. I'm going to take this out. Uh, you can also undo whatever you do right here. You can, um, you can mock text, like you could highlight it. You can put in a definition list. You could put in quotes, big block quotes to make a giant quote. You can create lists and headings and tables, all of that. And it also will link to Facebook so that you can post your book onto Facebook right into Facebook directly. You could also use things you've posted on Facebook to create your books. So those are all pretty cool things. So first let me ask, did, did you learn something tonight that you could use that'll help you make some money? I hope so. I, I know that I, I, I use this a lot. I'm using this as a lead generator. And I mean, for me, getting students that are on teams is is a gold is a gold mine. That's those are the people going to college. Those are the people needing needing my help, my program. So what's the next step? What I'm doing tonight is part of what I did for many years. I stopped doing this about three years ago. I had a monthly mastermind. Every month, I would take something like designer, something that could help you build your business or be more productive, like, and I would teach it in an hour. Something that might take you a couple of weeks or a couple of months to learn on your own, I would teach it in an hour. And by doing that, I would save people lots of time so they could spend more time on their business and what they're doing. And let me do the learning for you and show you what you need to know. If you're interested in the mastermind, it's easy to sign up. It's also from Howard.com, but forward slash mastermind. From Howard.com forward slash mastermind. And what we'll do is each month, you'll have a, 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 an email telling you that um, the mastermind is going to be on a certain topic. Anytime you want to stop, there's, a, there's an opt-out link. You click on the link, you don't get billed again. It's only $37 a month. It's going to be $47, but I'm just relaunching it. And I want to get some people involved. So I'm, I'm lowering the price for, for the first year to the people that are getting involved. The first 100 people, I'm going to keep it down to 37 each month, I'll give you a new lesson. It's interactive. You'll get the replay link if you miss it. So here's some of the things you want to think about. If you want to get a successful business, you have to be an authority in your field and create a loyal audience. I've, I've sold over $65 million worth of programs. So I know how to make it happen and how to help you make it happen in your business. Here are some of the topics that I'll be covering how to make cartoons and use them, how to get unlimited business leads, how to create explainer videos, which are very hot right now in, in online marketing on Facebook and on websites, how to create professional looking ads for Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter instantly. Just like I showed you how to make a book instantly, you can do this instantly. How to create videos that rock using Camtasia that are very powerful. How to use NLP for business success. Very, everyone who's very successful in, in, in a business has learned neurolinguistics. It's very, very important. It helps you to move people in the direction you need to make the right decisions. So if you go to fromhoward.com forward slash mastermind, you can sign up tonight. And every night, every, every month, we will get together and we'll have some fun together. We'll learn some exciting topics and I'm going to ask you to give me some topics. Is there something you would like me to teach? Something you think that would be useful to the group? Let me know. It's a mastermind. And I'll, I'll put the, uh, the link over here just so you can see it from howard.com forward slash mastermind. So it'll be interactive. You'll be able to ask me questions uh, and I'll show you things that you might want to know that could take a long time to learn by yourself. So did, would, would, would any of you be interested in joining my mastermind? I'd certainly hope some of you will consider it. Uh, pass this along to your friends 
as well. I want to get a community going for two things. One, I want to share what I've learned. I've learned a lot of different things, and um, it, it doesn't help if you know something if other people aren't getting the benefits. So that's important to me, and I want to make a better world. Uh, I look at what's going on. You watch the news. Does anyone feel there's too many smart people making too many good decisions in the world? I'm not pointing any fingers, but just in general, when you turn on the news, do you get the feeling that the problem in our world today is there's too many smart people? Oh, the link isn't working from howard.com forward slash. Um, okay, CJ, let me give you my email. For any reason you have a problem with the link, email me at mrreader at msn.com and I will send you the ugly link, the direct link that goes right there. If for any reason, anything you're interested in, if you can't sign up for the mastermind, or if you're having any problems with designer, just send me an email to mrreader at msn.com and I'll, I'll get this tomorrow and I will uh, send you the, the, the direct link, you know, one of those long, ugly links, but it will work. It's better than one that isn't working, right? So that's basically what I want. I want to make a better world. I, I, I think that we need, we need to do something to turn around what's going on in this world. We need people that are smart and articulate, can make good decisions, that are successful in business, that can help other people, take some of their resources and do, give something back to the community and that's a very important thing to me. Vic, Vic, Vinny knows me a long time. I'm very metaphysical. Uh, I, when I was younger, I lived in an ashram. I don't say that all the time, but I did. I lived in an ashram. I was meditating, and um, it was important to me to, uh, to, to keep... Now that I'm not in an ashram, I feel I have to take what I learn, what's in here, and share it. it it's not just about me. It's about, it's about you, and it's about the kids that are not finishing their education and people that are struggling. You know, a lot of times you talk to someone, they're not making any money. They say, well, what are you going to do? You're going to work more hours. No. Or I'm going to get a second job. No. You don't work more hours and you don't work a second job. You, you learn new skills that give you more income working less hours. I mean, that's the way it's done. You're not going to succeed if you work yourself to death. You are going to succeed if you find something you can do that has more value and people will pay you better for it. And that's really what this webinar is for. And this is what my mastermind's for, giving you those skills that I've learned, that I've used and helping you become more successful. So I'll, I'll open up any questions before I finish tonight. Now, I know there was some guffaws, but, you know, I don't care. When, I, when I'm doing a live webinar, that's just the way it works. You, Sometimes the computer, you click on something. I got a lot of windows open. Uh, I've got Webinar Jam. I've got Article City. I got Designer. I've got, um, what is this one? Oh, my, my Mr. Reader. I've got my recording software running in the background. I've got uh, the best spinner. So there's a lot running. And that, and that sometimes can cause some of the problems. I don't worry about it. Uh, I think... You just keep going in life. I, I had a workshop I was doing in Houston about a year ago. There was about 600 people. They wouldn't let me use my, my, my projector. They wanted to use theirs. Fine. I'm 10 minutes. I got 20 minutes. It's like a TED talk. I'm 20 minutes in, and the projector goes off. It's not my projector. I only got 20 minutes. I'm 10 minutes in. What do you do? I kept going. I said, you know what? I, I'm the one who made the slides. I know what I put on the slides. I don't need a projector. I'll just keep doing what I do. And you just, and that's the way you succeed in life. You, instead of saying, why is this happening to me? You say, what can I do about it? How can I make this work better for me? So, oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, thanks everyone. I, I enjoyed doing this as well. And I really hope that you'll seriously consider joining the mastermind so we can come together like this every month. And, and make a better world. Yes, it's monthly, once a month. Uh, I, I showed you some of the topics that I would like to do. That's not the only things I wanna do, but how to use and make, make and use cartoons. I like that a lot. How to get unlimited business leads. How do you find the names and the phone numbers and stuff without spending tens of thousands of dollars? How to do, I'm very good with video. I'll show you a lot of tricks for making super good and cool video. 
how to make those ads for Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter, even if you have very poor graphic skills and how to do it instantly, just like we did the book. There's an app for that that I'll show you that works really well. And <clears throat> I'll teach you NLP and I'll teach you a lot of other skills as well. Oh, I didn't, I didn't put on my sharing, my screen sharer. So <clears throat> I apologize, you didn't see it, but I read it. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish up. Um, I don't see any other questions. Um, and uh, yes, Michael, monthly mastermind. Here's the thing. I'm going to send you an email about five, six days before the mastermind, reminding you that it's coming, tell you what it's about. And for any reason you decide, okay, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. There'll be a link on the bottom. You click it and it shuts it off. You won't get billed and you'll be out of the mastermind. I, I miss you. I'd be sorry, but I, I, I want people to do something they like and, and enjoy and get value from it. I don't want to hook people into something that they can't end if they want to. So I'm keeping it very inexpensive. And uh, I, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I look forward to seeing you next month. We'll do something wonderful together. Till then, this is Howard Berg, the world's fastest reader, wishing you and yours the best of success. See you in the mastermind.